All right, final leg. So we are just a couple days away from the World Championships. September 27th, they kick off in Doha, Qatar. But we want to take a look at some of the athletes that are clear favorites going into their respective events at the World Championships. Let's kick things off with the men's 100 meters. We have Christian Coleman, in my opinion, clear favorite in that 100 meters. He's run a world-leading performance of 9.81 seconds, just off his personal best that he set last year at the Diamond League final of 9.79 seconds. So he's really in form this season. Of course, he's taken a little bit of a layoff because of that issue he, that he had but still the clear favorite number two on the world list is Noah allows with 9.86 but he's not running in the 100 meters he's only going to be in the 200 behind them is going to be Justin Gatlin with a 9.87 but Gatlin got a little bit injured in his last race so we're not sure about his form uh, all the rest of the guys they're in that 9.9 range but Christian Coleman has shown the consistency he's been clear all season except for behind Noah Lyles one time but he's going to be showing that he's definitely the gold medal favorite so keep a lookout for Coleman now I've mentioned him moving up just another 100 meters we have Noah Lyles only contesting that 200 meters on both the men's or the women's side he's probably one of the top favorites in his event he has run 19.50 seconds this season personal best and number four all time only behind Usain Bolt, Johan Blake and Michael Johnson so great great performance there he's been very consistent in the 19.6 range 19.7 range for the past couple seasons three-time Diamond League champion his closest competition is in 19.8 with Ramil Guliev as well as Andre de Grasse. So he is a way, way far ahead of these guys, and he just beat them in the Diamond League Finals. So Noah Lyles, he is definitely the favorite in the men's 200 meters. Now jumping up to the distance races, we have Timothy Churriot in the men's 1500 meters. He, in my opinion, again, he is a clear favorite. He has run a season's best, world leading performance, personal best of 3 minutes, 28.77 seconds. So way ahead of the rest of the field, the next guys on the 1500 meter list are 3 minutes, 30 seconds. So he's definitely put some separation. Undefeated this year, he's a 2017 world silver medalist only behind Elijah Manigoy but Manigoy is not going to be running in the meet this year because of injury so Chiriot kind of has a clear path to gold of course we know the 1500 meter can fluctuate because of pacing especially at championship meets but Chiriot seems that he's going to be able to tackle any pace that is set in the men's 1500 meters so keep a lookout for Chiriot now finishing things off on the men's side we have Kevin Mayer from France he's going to be competing in that decathlon he is definitely the clear favorite last year he set the world record towards the end of the year in the decathlon this year he's already set things off on the right path towards Doha setting a couple personal bets in some individual events so we're going to see the competition that he has in Doha but again he's clearly clearly a favorite and maybe he's going to be able to set a personal best which would be a world record so look out for Mayer. Now jumping over to the women's side we have a couple other women that in my opinion are clear favorites as well. First off women's 400 meters Shawnee Miller Weibo so this year she's already run 49.05 seconds she has a personal best last year of 40 48.97 seconds making her number 10 all time in the history of the 400 meters so she's definitely definitely one of the favorites of course she has Saul and Nasser right behind her who's run 49.17 this year and then also has a personal best of 49.08 but Nasser hasn't been nearly as consistent in the 49 second range as Shawnee Miller Weibo. Weibo all three races over 400 meters this year have been 49 seconds so keep a look out for Shawnee Miller Weibo and that's the only event she's doing she's not going to be in the 200 meters she can just focus on that 400 meters. Now jumping up to the women's 800 meters, we have Ajay Wilson from the United States. In the 800 meters, she is the clear favorite going into Doha. Caster Semenya, Francine Nionsaba, the two ladies who have finished ahead of her in past championships, they are not going to be in Doha, so that automatically just moves Ajay Wilson up to the top spot. But Wilson has backed that up with a season of wins against all the other ladies and the world leading performance, again, behind Caster Semenya of 157.72 seconds. So she is definitely in form and she essentially controls the races that she's in she's definitely going to be the one to likely get that gold medal in Doha now let's move over to the field events we have Malika Mihambo in the women's long jump she has been super consistent all season hitting personal best she has a world leading performance of 7.17 meters ahead of all the other ladies the closest next lady is going to be Brittany Reese but she's not even in the same competition right now Malika Mihambo managed to beat out Brittany Reese by only almost 20 centimeters at the Diamond League final so Mihambo again super consistent over seven meters she is a clear favorite in that women's long jump now in the women's triple jump of course we know Yulomar Rojas from Venezuela she has been extremely consistent jumping over 15 meters a couple times improving her previous personal best a couple times this season already she ended with her last competition before Doha a 15.41 meter jump huge personal best for her that's number two all time in the triple jump so she is looking prime to not only potentially win gold but also potentially break that world record of 
15.50 meters that dates back to 1995. So look out for Yulamar Rojas in that women's triple jump. Now let's jump back to the track. We have Beatrice Chepkoic in the 3,000 meter steeplechase for the women. This year, she has already run 855.58 seconds. She's been really, really consistent. She only lost one race this year, but in all her other races, she's been able to control the pace and essentially go out at a pace that she's comfortable with and win by a pretty decent margin most of the time. Of course, she has the world record from last year of 844.32 seconds, so she is really in a league of her own. If she's able to go out at a really fast pace, there might not be that many women who are able to keep pace with her. We'll see a fight for the lower uh, medals, but we're going to see Beatrice Chepkoic very likely take that gold medal in the sleeper chase. Now, in the women's shot put, we have Li Zhao Gong from China. She's been pretty consistent all year, only a couple losses, but she also has a world leading performance of 20.31 meters. She is a 2017 world champion as well, so looking to defend her title and pretty separated from the rest of the field. No one aside from herself has thrown over 20 meters, so let's see what she's going to be able to do in Doha, and I think she's that clear favorite in the shot put. Now, finishing things off, we have the women's heptathlon, of course, from Belgium. We have Nafi Tiam. She's been super consistent, the 2017 world champion. She's going to be looking to defend her title. She's also the 2016 Olympic champion, so she has a season's best this year of 6,819 points. Back in 2017, she set her personal best, exceeding 7,000 points. Let's see if Do in Doha a couple days from now, she's going to be able to get over 7,000 points, potentially per exceed her personal best, but she is a clear favorite in that heptathlon. Alright, so those are my personal picks for the athletes that are clear favorites going into Doha. Of course, things don't go always to plan. The men's 1,500 meters, again, that pacing always get mixed up sometimes. The jumps may not go to plan. We may have Brittany Reese, you know, challenge Mihambo in the long jump, but we're going to see. I think these are the athletes that are really going to be going for gold. A lot of other events to look out for, so keep a lookout. I'm going to be bringing you guys content, hopefully every single day from the World Championships, recapping each day, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment on your favorite performances that you're looking forward to at the Doha World Championships, and I'll also have my picks for each of the medals in the description below, so make sure you guys keep tuning in, and we'll be back again very soon. Thanks.